<clears throat> All right. What's up, guys? What is up? Let me know how the volume is. If I'm quiet or loud, I don't know. I'm still messing with mic settings. Um, so I'm not sure if I need to turn myself up or not. So just let me know. Oh, whoops. Did not mean to do normal. Let's, uh... Where's reset? There's gotta be a reset option here, right? Oh, there it is. Meant to do hard. Cause I'm just hardcore that way, you know? F6 is like the most mad GBA game. Yeah, we're actually playing a hack of it that is, uh, it's called Project Ember. Changes some stuff up, makes it makes some things look prettier, makes portraits better. Like, look, Roy has a new map sprite that looks pretty sick. Everyone's kind of toned down the colors a little bit. It used to be like super oversaturated. But... Ever tried it out? Yeah, yeah. There's actually a lot of cool changes. Um, and really, it's the only way that I care to play these, this game. Why does he double with his steel, steel sword? Seems a little broken. I think Roy has buffed move. But it's become busted. I mean, they already have three range, which is already stupid. Look at this. What's up, internet commentator? Feel like they make everyone too good. I, I feel that, yeah. I need to get you fast. We'll leave animations on for a while. Cause why the heck not? So how's everyone doing? I've had quite the. We'll have some cool, fun story time here soon. That, uh, <laughs> yeah, it was a crazy week uh, for, for us. Yeah, sure, why not? Boar's usable and his charm is just lost. That's too bad. Change the angle of the sword arm? Yeah, they do that. Is Milo happier than the new digs? He loves the new place much more. Yes. He does not yell nearly as much as he used to. Um, I don't know. This is Project Ember, yeah. It's the only way I can get myself to play GBA Fire Emblem at this point. Ow, fetch. These guys hit hard. Roy didn't double? Pansy. Sorry about that. What upset Milo before? Um, a whole slew of things. Um, but bugs, rats, people walking by our apartment all the time. Our apartment was really crowded. Our apartment complex was really crowded. Is that Dodger Pepper? Yeah. On a scale from 12 to 23, how good is the new mic? You tell me. What do you think? Is it okay? I need to get a pop filter still, so you might hear some plosives, but... Does it, does it sound good, Major? Thank you. Because uh, I'm really excited for it. Maggie got me a new mic for my birthday, um, and I'm, I'm honestly pretty pumped. Um, so I'm not really paying attention. I'm more talking to you guys. Maybe I should have done easy mo normal mode just to hang out. At least a 20. Nice. Nice. Is there a bad echo? I'm in a small room that I haven't done any uh, sound dampening treating at all yet. Happy 17th birthday, by the way. Yeah, 17th birthday. I'm married and have twins on the way. 17. What do you think this is? They, like, freaking, like, 
1772. Those kind of stats. I'm not hearing an echo. Good. 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 Yeah, I'm really excited. This is a mic that uh, Chaz Aria, um, or you know, Choops, suggested to me a while back, and I finally had the, the money to justify getting it for my birthday, you know? And I am very happy so far. Okay, I still need to pop filters, so sorry about that, but. Team Dads, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's quick. I'm like playing like brain empty. I'm not playing like at all smart right now. Chiefs has like the best setup I've ever seen for a YouTuber. He, uh, that's the that's the thing. He has all the technical know-how and stuff to be incredibly successful in like any pursuit of that of the, like that nature, you know, like streaming and stuff. But he like his favorite games are really obscure things that no one cares about. <laughs> like for the most part, you know what I mean? Like Fire Emblem is the most mainstream thing he plays on his channel and on his Twitch stream. Uh Fortune Attack. Told you Venza. Okay, cool. Not even, a, not even a worry. The Trails series isn't obscure. You ask... I, I would be curious to know how many gamers outside of the RPG community even know what trail the trail series is. I think the majority of people that might know, like, I don't know. I think I think a lot of people would hear Trails and be like, "Oh, like Tales of Symphonia, like Tales series." Like they'd get that confused. Number one, number two, they probably haven't even heard of the Tales series either. So, <laughs> haven't heard of the Trail series? There's one right there. People that's RPG don't even know what Fire... Dude, Fire Emblem is like... It is on the verge of mainstream now. Oh, he's dead. Damn, this game's gonna be rough without Marcus. Isn't it? Yeah, on YouTube, Fire Emblem isn't very popular. I mean, the, the biggest Fire Emblem YouTuber is like... Just over 100,000, right? Oh no... Thought it was three games. Yeah, it's not three games. It's like a million. Yeah, rest in peace, Marcus. That's okay, though. Open for the Nintendo Direct, true. It's 20 games. It feels like a million. <laughs> I looked into it and I was like, uh, yeah, no, no thanks. I'm not finishing this playthrough uh, right now. I'm just having fun. Thanks, Allie. Appreciate it. Uh, right now, I'm just, I'm just playing for fun. I think... Oh, I forgot. That's my speed up button. Um, I think at this point, the next playthrough I want to do and actually complete on the channel is a, another new mystery run. I've been really into new mystery again lately. I started playing it while I... I I didn't have internet for a few days because it was oh, it was a whole debacle. But I didn't have internet for a few days, so I started playing through um, New Mysteries Prologue on Rever Lunatic Reverse. That's just so much fun, man. New Mysteries so good. Thracia playthrough. Eh. I don't know. No, not not really feeling uh, Thracia. I will say um, I have had some some I have something in the works that I'm pretty excited for. Uh, I just have a few things I need to figure out. Um, but we will say that w my goal is to complete every Fire Emblem game before Engage comes out on the channel. And preferably before, preferably before my twins are born. Otherwise, it's not going to happen. 
And they they could realistically be born any day, which is terrifying. Waiting to see how bad Leaf will look in the new art style. The new art style's fine. I like the new art. I, I like the art style, personally. I like it a lot. I think... Like, a, a, a leer aside, I like I like all the designs so far. A leer is a little goofy, I will admit that. But everyone else is fine. Looks too tedious for you, for you to ever try. Yeah, it's it's it can be pretty tedious. I feel that. Easter eggs for my for for the for the twenty one viewers for the twenty one of you who are here. Um, here is the plant. Do you guys know, you guys have like seen all like the subathon things where people like leave their, like they'll stream like endlessly for like week, like days or even weeks or sometimes even like months on end, all that nonsense. You guys seen all that stuff on like Twitch? Well, I don't want to do that per se. Like I don't want any money. I don't want it to be like a monetary thing that keeps the stream alive, but I do. I am thinking about doing a, uh, basically a stream that doesn't end until I beat every game in the series. Can't believe I'm seeing you play, yeah I know, I can't believe you, whoa, he's he, he's selling out, he's playing GBA Fire Emblem. Oh, what has he done? So I think that's what I want to do. Um, some other, this other guy did it. Um, I don't know if you guys know who JBR Channel is. Yeah, his, his channel is literally called JBR Channel. Um, he did that with like a group, like with friends, you know, and they like took turns and stuff. I have two thoughts about going into it. I could either try and do it all in one sitting, which would require me to learn speed runs, which I just don't have time to do, I don't think. Or... I'd go the route of like just leaving it on. Ooh, Caveras, thank you for the 20 bucks. Effie a thon, let's go. I, don't get your hopes up yet. No, no guarantee it's gonna happen. I have to get the wife on board, which I assume she will be, because she's she's down. But it should be fun. I'll teach you speedrunning. I learned the FE1 speedrun. <laughs> you can be I don't know. Fun fact, you can be FE1 in five turns. Or whatever. Wow, thanks. Wow, thanks. Leaving a stream will be good for your channel. Can I ask why? What difficulty are you thinking? Uh, I'll probably just do the easiest difficulty for every game. Depending on... I don't know, it depends. If I, There'll probably be some way to do the easiest difficulty just to get it over with. Like, you know, like Sacred Stones. But then there'll be other ones that I want to really play through and enjoy. Oh, uh, it would def... Instead of not Adam. It would definitely be more than 24 hours. It would... My, the idea in my head is that it would probably take place over, like, the course of a week. And I'm trying to figure out how to set up... Um, you know, like, Twitch plays Pokemon. Have you guys ever seen that? Twitch plays Pokemon was like a huge thing for a while there, and I think it still it still goes on, right? I need to figure out how to do that on YouTube and for Fire Emblem, right? So I, 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 if I can do that, then when I sleep, people can be on the stream, and you know maybe that's maybe that's how we'll do one of the playthroughs. While I sleep, you guys will play through, uh, like I don't know, FE Seven or something. If you can. That's the thing. It probably wouldn't work. But it'd be fun to give it a shot. I'll let you guys do that. Do 
Twitch plays Pokemon requires coding the chat to control your stream. I, I, I know that. Respond to your DMs. Oh, so it is impossible, honestly. I'm really bad at responding to DMs and stuff. Sorry, dude. Um, I'll be better, maybe. Yeah, I know it requires coding the chat and all that. I just, there's gotta be what to do. I'm pretty sure Marky Joe has done it. Um, I need to reach out to him. See what, see what, see what he has done in the past. Or I just need to pay some smart programmer man to do it for me, set it up for me. So Major, teach him Thracia speedrunning. How, how long is a Thracia speedrun, Major? He got a job or something? Probably, yeah. I'm sure he's living his life out there. Yeah, how, how long is a 3 speed speedrun, Major? Are we, are we, are we talking about two and a half hours, three hours? What is this FE6 mod called? Project Ember. Project Ember. It's really good popular. People like it a lot. We're going to abuse the infinite defense on FE1? No, we're going to beat FE1 in five turns. Under two hours? Oh, really? That's pretty sick, actually. Fix Roy's strength growth? I don't know. I don't know all the changes by heart. If you want, you can access uh, to credits at the end of the first chapter of the developer codes. Exactly. Not first, only I can have that position. I mean, what if I, get, what if I learn the strats and do better than you? You know what I mean? Like, Who's gonna stop me, yo? You? I think this used to be a wyvern, wyvern rider. Did they change this? This used to be a wyvern rider, right? I don't know why the change. Is there a record for speeding running? I mean, like, running fast? I mean, Usain Bolt's pretty quick, right? You don't think it moves? The first time I played through it when it was the like, early, uh, earlier release, this guy did move and killed whoever I put here to get this. If you go into his range, it moves. Yeah, okay. How cute and quirky of it. You guys want to hear something crazy that happened? So, last Thursday, Thursday night, I wake up, or I, try, I start having pretty severe, pretty bad chest pain, right? And I'm like, fetch, this is, might actually be a problem, I should probably get this figured out, right? So I'm like, so Ma so I'm like, hey Maggie, this is like 5 a.m., I'm like, hey Maggie, my chest is hurting pretty bad, I think I need you to drive me to the hospital, right? And I'm like an overweight guy, you know, so I figure this might be a problem, I should really get this checked out. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. And, you know, like, I, I'm, I'm on, like, medicine for high triglycerides or whatever. So I'm like, okay, this could, like, be a heart problem. I'm about to be a dad. I'm not going to let... I'm not about to, to, like, die by just, like, not going to the hospital when I feel sick, right? So we get, go get, get in the car, and Maggie's like, which hospital do you want to go to? And at this point, we're still living in a really crappy neighborhood, right? And, like, horrifyingly... A horrible neighborhood like you guys don't understand how bad it was <laughs> but we're just i'm just like well let's just go to the nearest hospital and you don't need to drive far 
So we, we pull up to this hospital and we pull into like the emergency room, emergency room parking lot and there are these four people outside. These three, these three dudes are fighting, like yelling at each other and like chasing each other around the parking lot. And there's a woman amongst them who is like, hey, please stop fighting. You know what I mean? That whole thing. And um, it starts to escalate and, I, and Maggie and I are walking inside and I just, we kind of rush inside because we can feel like, yeah, you, you kind of get the feeling that something, something major might be happening, you know, like something's about to go down. So we, we rush inside. Uh, I go through security first because they have patients to go through security at this hospital quickly. Yeah, that's right. It's, it's a bad enough neighborhood where they need security <laughs> for the ER. I uh, So I get through first. I'm at a kiosk where you check in. And Maggie has to get like a visitor's badge, right? So she's still pretty close to the front door. Next thing we know, next thing I know, I just finished signing in filling out the little thing that like your symptoms and all that and then i then you we hear like five distinct pops pop 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 right and then you and then the a security guard yells get down and next thing i know there's a man who runs into the hospital er holding his chest and falls down next to me where I'm at, where I got down at, just bleeding everywhere, right? There's tons of blood all over the ground, and him, and he's right next to me. <laughs> and this guy is just like, he's just on the ground writhing in pain, and his friend comes in after him and is like screaming his name and asking, like yelling for help, you know? And then, you know, doctors, nurses rush him start helping him and, and get him get him up to surgery as fast as they can right so that is the first time that i've ever been that close to uh like gun violence <laughs> and it was probably the most terrifying moment of my life and the thing that made it worse was maggie was on the other side of the room um right because she's getting her visitor badge so i wasn't even by her and she was really close to the door when it all happened so she like stopped and dropped to the ground but you know she's two months she's like she's pregnant with twins right and uh so she was worried that she hurt the twins so she had to go get checked out Ugh, it was a turns and turned out i just had like some sort of i have a stomach ulcer or whatever is what it was and that can cause chest pain apparently so it's not like life-threatening at all it's just like annoying but yeah, so that was uh, that was last Thursday, and we were moving to our new place just two days, just like in two days. And now it's like, yeah, <laughs> that one. Oh, sick level. Yeah, so that was uh, quite the quite the experience. Sounds mighty exciting. I would say so. I would say it was pretty, pretty fetching exciting. Except, you know, not because there was, yeah, and it was all really, it was all really close to, to Maggie and stuff, which is horrifying. I like that they give Boars swords. I like that. So I'm glad we're all safe, but I don't know. I thought I would share that story with you guys because it's honestly kind of pretty freaking wild, all things considered. Wow, Ellen's sprite is a lot better. Look at that. That looks really good. <laughs> Kavaris, thank you for... Wow, thanks. Thanks you. Thank you for another, another 20 bucks, man. Really appreciate it. Uh, the new place is safe. Much safer. We're in a much better neighborhood. Like, area of town. We feel better. I, you know, I, I, I take my dog for a walk and don't worry about, like, getting stabbed or robbed. It's pretty nice. I met my neighbors. And they're, like, actually nice human beings. It's crazy. It's crazy what moving across town can, moving across town can do for you. 
So that that was my weekend. How about you guys? What what do you guys have going on? How's your life? Oh, she gets the ring, what the ring spear. That's cool. Ring spears are fun. I like ring spears. What about you? Do you have anything cool? Do you have anything cool? Deke evolves into Super Deke. Yeah, just just ready to go on the spot. Dog sitting the whole week. That sounds nice. I like we we used to dog sit a lot actually. Bef especially before we got Milo, we used to dog sit often. And I really enjoyed it. I really loved all the cute dogs we got to watch. And then we got Milo, and there's just a little too much. It's insane that it's such a process to find normal living conditions in the U.S., but glad you're in a better spot. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, it, it doesn't feel like it should be that hard to find a good place to live, but right now, living is just like... The cost of living in the U.S. is insane. Um, please stop getting hit. He's old, but a very good boy. Old dogs can be like so sweet. Sometimes like especially small old dogs, they just like just like sit on your lap and they're all cute and stuff. I love it. Or they want nothing to do with you. I don't know. It depends. Yo, holy crap. Toilet Falchion, I'm so sorry I missed your uh, missed your uh, donation. Toilet Falchion, $5. Yo, streaming the best era of FE. Am I right? Um, I'm gonna, did it play? Wow, like, thanks. I must have just missed it. Wow, thanks. Yeah, th thanks, man. Thanks, Toilet. I'm so sorry I missed your, uh, sorry I missed your dono. Appreciate it, bro. That's the problem. With being on YouTube, super chats are really easy to see. And it's so easy to miss the like other stuff. Oh my gosh, guys, it's my mom. Be cool. Be cool. My mom's watching. And say hi. This mom is so happy you were able to find a new home. Happy streaming. Hope you are hope all y'all are safe and well. Thanks, mom. You're the best. Yeah, that's my mom. She's super cool. Well, I didn't even know this guy was here. What the heck? Yeah, my mom's dope. She essentially hit me, like, I don't know. She was like, you can't live where you're living with babies. And I was like, oh, okay, we'll move. So then we moved. <laughs> Still hasn't taken any damage. Dude, Boars is a legend. Look at this nerd. Ooh, Milo arose from his sleeping spot. Who do you think is better? Do you guys prefer Alan or Lance in FE6? Milo wants to go. He probably wants to go get a drink of water or something. I'm gonna let him out. Let him out the room. Hold on a second. Alan, Lance, why though? That's my question. Why? prefer the able over the cane. I usually do too, I think. Doubling sooner is better. Oh, whoa. 
I do not know what Milo's barking at. Can you guys hear that barking? Just curious with the new mic. I'm curious how much it comes across. Is it as bad as before? Like, you know, like my old place, it was like really bad. Is it bad? Like does like take over all noise and like make your ears bleed? Noticeable. It's a faint bark. Okay, when you say noticeable, you mean noticeable like super like, oh my gosh, that's all I can notice or noticeable in like a, eh, I can kind of hear that. Not super loud, but noticeable. Okay, I'll take that actually. That is a, you can trade and then run away, right? Okay. But it's not peaking the mic or anything. Cause that's what it used to do. It used to peak the mic really bad, right? It was horrible. But this feels much better. Cool. Sorry, I need to. I need, I, need, I need to take the speed up button off my controller because I accidentally do that a lot. But as you can see, he already stopped. He doesn't bark nearly as much. <laughs> it's so nice. He like as you guys know, he used to just bark like crazy because like. One person would walk by our apartment door. One person would walk by our apartment window and he would just have a freaking conniption or a cat would jump onto our balcony. That was just like a stray cat in our neighborhood. Dude couldn't handle it. This is so much better. Oh, just don't get hit. It's that, it's that easy, guys. Just don't get hit. Convoy should have cannon ballista on it for defense. I'm pretty sure there's a mod of that gives Marlinus a bow. Makes it so we can use bows. But I feel like that kind of defeats the purpose of having him as a unit. Oh my gosh, this song is so stupid. I hate this song so much. I can ugh, makes me want to vomit. So someone's, this person, they gotta move, right? They move. How fast are you? 12, 11 speed. Oh, uh, but you're using a steel lance, you're like super slow, right? That's how this works. Cause you have six cons, so it's 13, six, seven. So they only have four speed, four attack speed, right? Oh, so Roy like, potentially murders this person. Cool. But the function as a unit? I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of a fan of, of Merlinus. I like the way he works. I prefer having Merlinus be the convoy to having like your main character just like have all of their items on their person at all times. Like, Byleth just having the convoy automatically makes them, like, really good, you know? Or, like, Corrin, or Erica, or Ephraim, you know? Them just having all access to all the items in the convoy can be kind of busted. Especially, three houses especially, where you can use, like, all sorts of different weapon types. Just making their inventory limitless is kind of bum. I don't even know what he's barking at down there. What the? This guy sucks. I think Merlinus is a really good concept. The, the idea of having like a convoy, um, a convoy character that you have to deploy in, in like a deployment slot. I really like that, but I can, I can see why it could be turned off. 
accessing convoy mid game, especially in the 3DS games, is pretty broken. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, that's why I like having it tied behind, like tied to uh, basically a worthless unit, right? Their only thing is running around and giving people items. I think that's cool. Giving them some other utility could be cool, though. I don't know. It's convenient, but takes away the prepper. Oh my, 16 attack. What is Get out of here with that. Why is that person so strong? Alright, if Milo doesn't stop barking, I'm gonna have to get him. Gotta go, gotta, gotta, to, got to do homework. Um, you should just stop doing homework. That's what I did. Look where, look where I am. I'm so successful. Just kidding, that's a joke. I don't stop doing homework. Because I'm not successful. <laughs> Oh my gosh, mom, mom! Next time, just give me twenty bucks so you two doesn't take some of it. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Thank you, mom. You're the best. I appreciate it. Too nice. Too nice, mom. That's a cute sticker. That's fun. You are amazing. Thank you, Mom. I didn't even know you are still watching. Now I'm nervous. Did I say anything that my mom would disapprove of, guys? I don't remember. I don't think so. I'm not filtering myself too much right now. I'm just kind of talking. Um, yeah, Mom, you're too nice. Thank you. I don't know if stickers. Sh oh, big crits. Why was there no crit noise? Oh, oh, there it is. Thanks, mom. All the hate you've given those games just put her over the edge. And yeah, she's like, Ugh. oh, an axe reaver. That's kind of cool. Still dodged it. Yeah, my mom just. My mom loves Fire Emblem. You wouldn't believe it, guys. It's actually her favorite game series of all time. She just, ah, dang it, wrong button. She just loves it so much. She knows exactly what's going on all the time. It's actually funny. I, I remember my, my mom would sit down, like, I'd just, like, be playing, like, Radiant Dawn or something in the living room. My mom would sit by me, and, like, she would have, like, a, a like a book or something. I don't know what she'd be doing. She'd just be hanging out. And she'd be like, you're going so fast. Like, how do you know what you're doing? Like, all the numbers. I don't, I don't get it. It's like she, cause she, she, cause my mom's the best, and she would always try to be like involved in the things we were involved in. Like, try, she would try to, like, she wanted to care about what we cared about. You know what I mean? Uh, like, and by we, I mean like her, her children. And you know, I cared about Fire Emblem and that stuff, and I was into that. So she tried really hard to understand it, but she was just like, I, it's, it's, "You're going too fast. I don't, I don't get it." <laughs> it's really funny thinking back on it. Yeah, so if any of you... You <laughs> you all are in another class, smarty pants. Stop, Mom. <laughs> when did I get into Fire Emblem? Uh, a long time ago. I, I was in elementary school. Um, I had a buddy who showed me FE7. Uh, I pl we played some of that together. And then I played... Um, Path of Radiance uh, all the way through and I loved it and I played every, I've played every release since I played Path of Radiance Radiant Dawn Shadow Dragon I skipped New Mystery because it didn't come out in America and then I played you know Awakening and I obviously I went back and played all the old games too yeah so I started a long time ago with bas basically started with the GBA games but really my first full playthrough was Path of Radiance. So, I don't know. When did that game come out? Like 2006? 2006, right? Or is it 2005? Would have been within a year of that time, probably. So a lot longer than I should have. I am... I've played way too much Fire Emblem in my life. Hence why I'm able just to talk about stupid crap all the time about it, you know? 
on the internet. I know way more about this stuff than I should. It's not healthy, man. I, I, I need a better hobby. <laughs> a healthier hobby. Gaming is like... By the way, the enemy placement here is really smart. Um, I don't know if they did it on purpose, but the way they have some, some of these overlap, I don't know. I just really appreciate the way they did it. Well played, devs. Well played. Okay, good. Passed the eye test and I was right. Let's go. <laughs> oh, that guy didn't move. Coward. I will teach you... For, uh, I'll teach you to be inactive. Did you enjoy Bayonetta 3? I haven't played Bayonetta 3. Don't plan on it. I haven't I haven't played I haven't touched Bayonetta at all. Not my kind of game. Your first was Fates, sadly. Why sadly? Fates is dope. Fates is super fun. Fates gets a lot of hate just because, you know, it's like the cool because some big some big YouTuber guys or whatever, and by big I mean big in like the fire emblem sense of YouTuber guys, said it was bad, but like Fates is good. It's a fun game, man. Just played Awakening and now Fates for the first time. It's super fun. Yeah, that's the thing. It's it's really good. Everyone just craps on it because it's like, haha, I am so clever and funny. I'm gonna make fun of this game. And like, there are legitimate complaints to be had for those games. Like, I get it. Stories, uh, you know, the story for the fate for Fates is like very hit or miss and mostly miss, right? For being honest. Um, yeah. Just, uh, I don't know. It just became like the cool thing to hate on, on Fates, when in reality, they're honestly really fun games. Even, even, I think Rev is even really fun. I really enjoy a good playthrough of Revelation. Just wrote a whole rant about this. Oh, I've been going off about it for years now, at this point. Fates is overhated. Fates is dope as heck. Is this, no, I was gonna say, is this the one you can recruit? But no, that's it's a different guy you can recruit. Rev put a bad taste in your mouth? How so? Like, story wise? I understand story wise. Story wise, they're rough. I get that. But, like, gameplay wise, those games are so freaking solid. Was against Fates? Oh. Awkward. Are you getting Scarlet or Violet? Probably neither. I'm not a big Pokemon guy. Not a big Pokemon guy. Uh, fun fact about me, one of the first games I ever had gifted to me as a kid, my parents got me a Game Boy Color and a copy of Pokemon Yellow. Pokemon Yellow was like the first game ever given to me. And I couldn't read yet, but I still loved it. If you look at Fades as an Effie satire, it makes the whole story somewhat enjoyable. That's pretty funny, actually. I've never thought of that, and that is... That's my new my new favorite interpretation of Fades. It's just satire. Can Shanna do anything to this guy? Oh, we'll see. We'll see if Shanna can, can mess this guy up at all. Oh yeah, she can mess this guy up pretty good. Oh yeah, oh baby. You'll love to see it. Let's give Shannon this kill for sure. Don't really care for the maps and fates either. Is that unpopular? I think I think really people just they'll be like, oh, Conquest Chapter 10, but that's really the only map they talk about that like they enjoy, right? Any good Switch strategy RPGs besides Three Houses? Um I I like the first Mario and Rabbids game. I thought that was pretty fun. I didn't play. I haven't played the second one. Um, and then there's a ton of them. And uh, actually, did it come out yet? Um, Tactics Ogre Reborn is that out yet? That's gonna be on Switch, and that's definitely worth picking up. 
It's a remake of a game from like forever ago, but it's apparently insanely good. And I, I plan on playing it on the channel at some point. Um, I want to give Shannon this kill, but what if she misses? Uh, she won't miss. Bet. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, Valkyria Chronicles is really fun. I really enjoy Valkyria Chronicles. It's another one. Definitely, that's a, that's a good, that's a recommend for me as well. Actually skipped Revelation because you disliked the other two so much. If you skipped Rev, I would say give it a shot. People don't, people crap on it because they're like, oh, it's too gimmicky. But it's like, define gimmicky, you know? It's a whole thing. Oh, what a Chad. Totally. <laughs> What's up, Addison? Totally, yeah, for sure. Yeah, those are some, those are some good games. Uh, and there, there's tons of them on the Switch at this point. narrow window to, with the store closing yeah you should if you can you should pick you should pick up rev definitely worth playing you'll, you'll be missing out if you don't pick it up at some point silly little sandbox game yeah that's the thing it's just a little sandbox game i think that's that's what like awakening excelled at so if you really like awake if you really liked awakening you i think will enjoy uh rev more than the other paths I think Rev is more like Awakening than anything else in Fates. The Mage Sprite is so cute. Look at this little guy. He's so cute. I love it. Hot take, Fire Emblem is a very good series. That is a very hot take. Um, I'm gonna need you to censor that text for me. Someone, someone ban that guy. We can't be having that here. Yeah, uh, I, I need some. I need someone to uh, ban that man. <laughs> we can't be having such uh, such intolerable behavior here. Don't get you started on Perry. What's wrong with Perry? She's just a goofy anime character. She's a goofy animal. Oh, dude, 13 damage? You still answers are not joking this game. Perry's just a silly anime character that likes to kill people. I feel like that's a pretty standard thing in anime. That's a pretty standard anime trope, right? They're just like, hee hee hee, killing people is fun and cute. Not a thing. I don't watch anime, so I'm just making crap up as I go. I'll be honest. Do they always target Roy? Do they have like Marth AI? Like, if they can, they target Roy. But that trope is awful. I'm not saying... I'm not saying it's good. I'm just saying it's there. It exists, you know? And, like, I see why, I see where it came from, and I accept it. It doesn't bother me. She's just hee-hee, killing is fun. Ha-ha-hoo-hoo. -hoo. And she has pink and blue hair. It's kind of... She's, she's all quirky and stuff, you know? She's like the manic pixie dream girl from the early 2000s. You know, rom-coms. Like teen rom-coms. Except she also is into murder. Didn't Chad look more red in the original? I feel like he looks really sad. Most Fates characters are dumb. True! Truing. You don't care about any Fates character? Yeah, me neither. But it's, again, it's still a fun game, so. I mean, if you're if story is the only reason you play a Fire Emblem, then like I can see why you wouldn't care about Fates, but. 
If you only play, if you only play, oh my gosh, Milo, the heck, dude. If you only play, if you only play uh, Fire Emblem for story, you should look into other, you know, other game series or other, you know, mediums like movies and books. Dude, Milo, what the heck, man? I don't even know what he's barking at. What did he hear? Yeah, every Fire Emblem story, everyone, like people will be like, oh my gosh, Genealogy of the Holy War has such a good story, I love it. But it's like, dude, like, really? <laughs> it's not that good. <laughs> like, how good, like, I think it has the bones of a good story, but I don't think it's like well told or well written necessarily. I think it has like a good, like, I think it has like a good overall narrative. Dude, what the heck, man? Um, I'm trying to figure out how to mute this new mic setup here, like easily, so I can go stop him. But yeah, bark, 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 bark. What's up, Marie? The story can be made if the characters are solid. True. Got to head to sleep uh, since you have to work in the morning. All right. Good night, man. Or woman. Person. Thanks for hanging out. Oh, Shanna kill. Have, has anyone made, um, like, lunatic reverse mods for other fire emblems? Like, could I play FE7 except the enemies always attack first? I'm kind of really into that right now. I think that's I think that's just like a really fun challenge. Is that a thing? I want that to be a thing. I feel like that should be a thing. That'd be I feel like that's a winning idea. Does anyone know if that's a thing? I would play the crap out of that. That would get me to play GBA Fire Emblem. He would have died if he didn't dodge that attack. Very cool. Good job, Lot. Oh, never mind. I thought it was another guy in range. We're good. Oh, she won rounds? Hello. I was about to say, like, oh, I, I, can sh I can shove Deke over here. Yeah, the Axe users are kind of silly. silly. Silly good, it seems. Whoa, these guys are... Defense the heck out, man. What the heck? Um, I want Shanna to just, like, murder-weight this dude, but... It's really not safe. Equipped. Oh my gosh, Milo, please shut up. You feel sad today? I'm sorry. Just one of those days. I had a I had a rough. Uh, I think ye yesterday I had a really bad day as far as like depression and stuff goes. I feel that. Yesterday I was feeling really down on myself. No particular reason, you know, just, just the usual. Feel like I'm, feel like I'm a failure. Feel like I'm ruining everything in my life. You know, all those you know, nasty thoughts that really don't have any place being there. But you know, they sneak in. They sneak in, man. Nothing you can do about it. They sneak in. It's time for me to... Milo might actually need to go out. Um, so if you give me... I'm going to take him out really quick. Oh, whoops. Oh, look at that cute sprite! <laughs> Alright, I'm going to take Milo out. I'll be back. Um, talk amongst yourselves. Support each other and uh, 
your depression and feelings because yeah I feel that <laughs> but I'll, I'll be back in a minute guys Sorry, Milo had to pee. He peed a bunch. Does anyone like the FE6 music? Oh yeah, sorry I subjected you guys to torture. You guys want to listen to something else, actually? Oh. Oh, that's so miserable. Character's boots too big? I mean, would you have, rather have boots that are too big or have no feet like an awakening? Um, sure, let's do this. Let me know how the volume level is. And they gave Roy a ton of move in this, uh, this, this hack. Almost too much, in my opinion. I need to kill these guys. Shannon could probably kill this guy. Right? 
Oh my gosh, Shanna. The wing spear makes Shanna like good. This is awesome. Big fan. Big fan of Shanna with the wing spear. Assisted on pineapple and olive pizza. This just sounds gross to you now. What? <laughs> Pineapple and olive. I thought you were going to say like pineapple and ham, and I was going to be like, yeah, fetch yeah. I love pineapple and ham pizza. Like Hawaiian, you know? But pineapple and olive, I can't do. The PE aside from Roy move. Yeah, Roy's move is, what, is this seven? Seven at base? That seems a little over the top. Like, I don't know, is, 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 does Roy, like, is he a centaur? Does he, like, run like a freaking... Does he have, like, horse legs, you know? Kind of wild. Um, Deke, maybe, come down here and help a little bit. His power comes from his giant boots, yes. Yeah, this is just this is what Fe6 is. If Roy didn't forget to wear his uh, his special pair of boots in the morning, you know, he he remembered to, he remembered to stop at the secret shop and get his boots before uh, before heading out. Um, that's not enough damage, is it? Hmm. What can you do here? Not very much. All right, what about you? Nope. Hmm. while he's surrounded by an enemy and is an enemy who will attack you. Wait, what? Talk to him three times while he's surround. What, what chat, wait, who? Spoil it, who are you talking about? I don't even remember, I don't remember that one. I do not remember that one. Maybe I'm dumb. You know, Deke, Deke should be fine, right? We're just gonna let him handle that. Dude, weapon triangle is like a huge advantage in this, in this game. Gangrel, oh yeah, 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 okay. What are you talking about? Uh, let's give this guy a proper stabbing, shall we? Fire Emblem, the, bind the Binding Boots, yes, my favorite game. But of course. Wearing the Shura boots. So, I like to think that they like skin Shura alive to get those boots. Not alive, that's kind of messed up. And then they like make his skin into boots. Is that kind of gross? Yeah. Is it my head cannon? Yeah, it just ma it makes fates just a little more interesting. You know what I mean? Just a little more interesting. Oh yeah, it's horribly disturbing. I don't know why I think that, but it makes me laugh. And Fates needs you to laugh at me sometimes. New unit or boots? To be fair, Shura actually is really good in Conquest. Like, really good. I think Shura is actually incredible, but... Boots are also really good. <laughs> But aren't, aren't boots only a one plus one move in, in, uh, in Fates, so they're like not as good as they could be? Yeah, he's amazing in Revelation as well. Like that's where that's where he's his best, right? Doesn't he in Revelation? He's kind of like Silas, where he just like joins way more powerful than he should. Taking Shura over the boots, optimal. I might agree with that honestly. Shura's really good. He's just a plug and play good good unit. Very good for the ninja chapter, yeah. Huh. Level up? Strength? 
Oh, she got strength. That's actually kind of sick. Rev next. I mean, that's not even a choice. Revelation next is not good. Uh, maybe it's just me, but I really don't like this song. However, I do really like this song. Feats and feats for what? What does that even mean? Tra trash senpai. What does that even mean? We're gonna hit him with the old, old uh, Walt Roy one-two combo. Remember to recruit Tobias. Oh, he, uh, you talked to him with boars, right? It's chapter eight, right? Divine Decree? Which song? Is, is that Tiki's theme? Yeah, Gunter is miserably bad. Jacob or... Fel like both Jacob and Felicia outperform him in, like, by far. Corin is the real Jagan of Fates, let's be honest with ourselves. You say just a backpack, but he is a really effective backpack, let's be honest. You know? He's a really good backpack. And I say Corn's the real Jagan because, like, it's not out of the ordinary to be, like, level 8 or 9, maybe even 10, coming out of the prologue chapters of Fates. Cornish is busted. And Dragonstone is also insanely good. I kind of like how the Dragonstone functions, and that would actually make for a really good Jagan unit, in my opinion. They should they should do that. Have a Jagan who... Essentially, they, they can't double attack, but are tanky, and, like... I can talk, So, they're, they're not going to die, but they're not going to kill everything. I think that actually would be a really good balance. But later on, they become more killable, right? More susceptible to death. Dragon does do magic jam damage, yeah. Oh, oh, hello there. Hello there. Knife him. Oh, fetch. What the? Elfire? Get out of here with that nonsense. 23 attack with magic right now. That's mean. Um, hmm. Oh, boys. When in doubt, just put boars up there. He'll probably be fine. Am I right, fellas? Okay. I, I picked a crappy sound uh, playlist, apparently, because I'm kind of tired of the way this is playing both of the, the roar and or whatever. Both versions. Not a fan. Uh, let's see. Let's just pick one more good one that I like. Um, is it this one? Definitely not this one. Gross. I like this song. Let's do this. No, I don't like this song. This is not the one I was thinking it was. Um, where's the one I want? I think it's called, like, I think it's something like, uh, you deserve more than me from me than a sword or something. Oh, whatever. It's not here. It's sad. song all right we'll just do this one the classic everyone likes this song right someone gets the feet as boots yep i did say that and i instantly regret it I'm not gonna lie
play GBA music, but GBA music is gross. Alright, if I were to play GBA music, what's, what would I play? Like, Sacred Stones or something? Thinking about starting up a six round, what run we're using for this? Oh yeah, this is Project Ember. Sorry, I didn't see your message, uh, Chris. Sorry about that. The song is now almost 10 years old. It is, isn't it? Wait, no, is it? Was Awakening... I was going to say, uh, Awakening was 2012, right? Is that wrong? Was Awakening not 2012? Yeah, he'll be fine. 2012 in Japan. Oh, and then early 2013 in and everywhere else, right? Okay. I played that game way too much. Played the crap out of that game. Cursed Ab. Legend of Zelda Minish Cap soundtrack. But that's also, like, I don't like the GBA games just sound funny. I'm not, I'm not a huge fan. Prefer, like, I prefer NES music to GBA music usually. Stupid mage boy, get wrecked. As someone who's done cover songs in the GBA sound font, it can be rough. I believe it. There's much belief in this one. Walt, oh, Walt's insane in this game. Granted, Project Ember, they basically just make everyone good, so... I don't know, Walt being good isn't, like, that groundbreaking. SNES, GBA, NES music, in your opinion, but they're all good? I don't know. I, I think the GBA tries too hard to sound like normal music and instruments and stuff. And it just doesn't have the ability to, if that makes sense. Whereas you have like the NES where it's like obvious. That's just, it's just, you know, like beeps and bloops. But those are some powerful beeps and bloops, bro. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Um, you have a javelin. Why don't you, uh... Man, how do I take care of this guy safely? I don't have a good way to do it right now. Maybe you, actually. Why don't we... Give you that. There we go. NES Mega Man bass lines have no business going as hard as they do. Dude, Mega Man... Mega Man music in general. Any, well... I'm not the biggest fan of NES. I mean, the Mega Man 7 soundtrack. Or Mega Man 8 soundtrack, for that matter. I think those are actually both pretty rough. But... 1 through 6. Particularly... Dude, what the... Why does this guy hit so fetching hard? Particularly, like, 2... Uh, stands out to me a lot. Uh, six stands out to me a lot. And I also enjoy... And, you know, the other ones are good too, but I also enjoy uh, four a lot. Hmm. And this is the play here. We do this. There's, no, there's nothing up here that can attack us, right? No, okay. And this is the play right here. So I, I had to turn my brain off for like half a second to like figure this out. Mega Man X slaps way too hard. <laughs> the Mega Man X soundtrack in general is just insane. X2 is also good, and then X3 is kind of crap. And then from there, I feel like after X2 it all just kind of gets worse and worse. Which is sad, because it used to be so good. I, I asked the Mega Man X question on the last trivia quiz, the last two. And nobody knew the answer. I'm really disappointed in you guys, by the way. Y'all need to play. Y'all, y'all need to play some, uh, some Mega Man X. It is legitimately some of the best uh, gaming you will do. Particularly X, X one and two, and, and three is also really good. But one and two are incredible.
not get good enough. You see, that that's part of my thing too. I don't know. Maybe that's that's the thing. I I grew up. I grew up playing Mega Man X. Like I had, you know, I had the you know Super Nintendo and the the cartridge and everything, and I, I grew up playing those games. So it's like, I don't know. I just kind of have like ingrained in me how to play them and be good at them. So I don't have a. I, I guess I have a hard time having sympathy for people that are like, man, these games are hard. I can't do it. Or it's like, I can, I can do it. I was beating these games when I was like small, you know. My nephew, who just barely turned eight, beat Mega, like regularly plays through Mega Man X and Mega Man X Four. <laughs> like, he's, he'll just whip out his Switch and play through it really quick. Not really quick, but, you know. But he'll just play through any of those games actually. Really incredible for you know eight year old. When you're admitting six year old FED is better at video games than you are, I wasn't six. I forgot the song was an awakening. This is the premium map, right? Yeah. It's cute. This isn't the actual, is it this one? No. Also not the song I was looking for. This one? Is it this one? Okay. Never touched a Mega Man? You should touch a Mega Man. You'll never be the same once you touch a Mega Man. I'll tell you what. Yeah, if you haven't played Mega Man X, do yourself a favor. Go buy the X go buy the first Mega Man X collection on your Switch. Play it. And then come tell me that you played it and that your life has been changed forever. Because it will have been changed forever. Without a doubt. Your life will never be the same. Because you will have just enjoyed one of the most magical games in the history of gaming. The X collection is regularly on sale. Well, there you go. No excuses. Go buy it, guys. It's already cheap. My life has changed forever and will never be the same. It's true. See? We have testimonials right here. Fine, you'll buy it. Yeah, buy it. And play it. And don't be like, oh, it's too hard. Nah. Just play it. Also, Zane's Productions, do yourself a favor. This isn't really a spoiler. Play the Penguin level first, okay? In Mega Man X1, play the Penguin level first. That is a prerequisite for playing that game. Unfortunately, your mom. Oh no, he got me. You own the X collection? You should play it. Is the FED mom approved? I mean, she, I think she bought it. She, I'm, I'm sure she bought it for me and my brother when we were kids, so yeah. I'm gonna say yes. I love how the axe is literally the size of, like, the horse's head. It is so, like, bigger. It's, like, big as half of that horse. Massive. Massive axe. But she bought that game back in the day when you didn't, like, 
You couldn't really look up a game. You just had to like look at the picture and be like, oh, that looks fun. I bet my son will like that. Why is this so loud? Oh my god, shut up, Ike. Yeesh. I'd like to meet the archetype who came up with the wacky hallway. With that wacky hallway? Which wacky hallway are you talking about? The next one? You're talking about, uh. I can't even think of what hallway you'd be referring to. Ugh. Gross. And she won't miss. ESRB ratings were random letters on boxes that nobody really understood. Man. I preferred that because now I, I remember as a teenager when they started putting like on the boxes, you know, it'd say teen and then it would say why it was rated teen. And like it'd be for like Fire Emblem Awakening or something, rated teen. And my mom would see it and be like, partial nudity? Why are you playing the game with partial nudity in it, Adam? I'm like, what do you what do you mean, mom? And they'll look at the box and it says partial nudity next to teen or whatever. Because like a character like Tharja and like Olivia exists in the game, you know? And I'm like, uh, mom, there's no naked people in this game, I swear. Stop yelling at me. My mom never yelled at me. She was, that's not, how, that's just not how she operated. But you guys know what I mean, right? You know what I'm saying? You get me? You feel me? Um, that's you, sure. Sit there. level skill and so on so they bought him Call of Duty for his 11th birthday <laughs> wow strict parents what do you mean strict parents for not wanting their teenage son to play a game with nudity in it I think that's I think that's a pretty uh, reasonable thing for a parent to want you know get the village nah I don't think I will But his parents saw the game and immediately took it away. Yeah. That, <laughs> that's really funny, actually. I don't really feel like getting these. I don't even remember what's in them. This guy looks really cool. Look at that map sprite. They made generals look sick. Yeah, Path of Radiance was my, my first full playthrough of a Fire Emblem game. And yeah. The music hits me right in the feels every time. This guy didn't move, and I'm kind of upset about it. Um, oh boars. Looks super different from the last time I played. I don't know how current this one is. Actually, I had uh, Toilet Falchion. I don't know if you're still in chat and want to answer that question. Um, he, he's the one who sent this, uh, sent this to me. I don't know if this... But I, I know that they have done some like newer patches and stuff. N64 South Park game as a kid, thinking it was a cartoon. <laughs> I'm sure you're not the only. I'm sure that's not the only time that ever happened. I'm sure that happened all the time. Like that had to have happened a ton. Like, oh, it's a cartoon. It must be meant for kids. <laughs> no. Late 2021, actually. Okay. Ooh, can we have Chad throw a knife at this nerd? Oh, it doesn't kill? Ugh, we're gonna do it anyways, because it's cool. I really should look through other patch notes. I don't even know all the stuff they changed. I just know, like... My biggest thing is that this game looks way prettier than base FE6. And... All the characters are good now. <laughs> like every every character is worth using for some reason or another. 
I don't think we're going to get a Path of Radiance port or anything like that, guys. Hey, look, it's Lou. And he comes with Air Caliber. Because why the heck not? Okay. Why? It's not even exclusive to him. It's just a... He just gets to come with a cool tome. What the... Fire is seven might in this game? I thought... That seems a little less... That seems a, a tad bit excessive. Seems a little high. This is my favorite FE9 map theme. A girl can dream? A girl definitely can dream, but it's not going to happen. Sorry to say it, pal. I mean, I guess never say never, but I just have a feeling. I can feel it in my gut. It's not going to happen. I want it to happen, but it's not going to. FE7's 20th anniversary? Really? It's crazy. Dude, Fire Emblem's getting old. Um, I guess we should heal you. They'd rather remake the older games. Well, I think they would rather just do what's going to make them the most money. And honestly, Ike is really popular because of Smash and all that, right? I think, I think they'd be... Oh, a support? Lance, how fares your sword today? Haha. -ha. Effie is old and so are you. I feel like I'm old. I don't know. I, I just turned... I, like, I'm not, I'm not even that old. I just turned 27, right? But that feels like I'm officially in my late 20s. You know? No! Oh, she's fine. <laughs> Ellen's like, whatever. I'm just chilling here with my two defense. You can't hit me. No fear. Milk some of the older characters? I hope so. I hope they make Sigurd and like Leaf really prominent characters. But they aren't going to be, probably. From early to mid 20s and you wanted to die, what, did you turn like 24? FE4 remake is next. If we get an FE4 remake, I will welcome it. You know, open arms, all that. I'll kiss the feet of the man who makes it. All that stuff. I love the idea of like going coming on the battlefield with just a giant hammer. FE Genshin Impact. I mean. I guess the art styles definitely uh, has that vibe. I'm not going to get those chests because I don't care. Fenshin Impact, my favorite Vidya game. For sure, Zs. If an FE4 remake gets announced, can't wait. <laughs> was Rescue in the original game? Uh, yeah, Rescue was always in this game. It was introduced in FE5 and was a core mechanic of the series until FE11. Uh, and then they got rid of it for some reason. Not crazy to think that Radiant Dawn was the last game to have true rescue. Wild. That feels like such a long time ago. Why don't you double anything? Roy, you... You can suck an egg. No one was asking for an FE2 remake? That game was so good for a remake, though. I'm just, like... Ugh, it, that... that Gaiden turned out so good, man. Gaiden's awesome. Good game.
Gas was asking for an FE2 remake. Gas really played FE2 and was like, wow, now this is my whole personality. And for a while it was. He's just like, I love Gaiden, bro. I'm gassed. Yeah. <laughs> Get strength, nerd. Stupid weak nerd. Right, get him, boars. Never mind, boars. You, uh, you sit back. Um, this is a deep job for sure. Did you get the treasure? I'm not going to. I don't feel like it. I don't really feel like it. SpongeBob reference? Yeah. Remember that? I remember that. Why is Walt busted? This is hard mode. It's kind of stupid to get. JK. Walt sucks. We all hate Walt guys from here on out. Um, we never speak of this ever again. He is dead to us. I don't really feel like it. Is capped at seven? <laughs> Could you imagine if that was actually the case? This like capped his strength out of seven. Like, but sevens, you know, seven's the number of completion. It's perfect. Uh, maybe we'll get a lucky crit here. Crit, coward. Come on. Oh! oh, baby. Not going after the loot? Nope. Don't feel like it. Wake up for work at 6.30 tomorrow, so this is where I dip out. I've been real. It's been real. Don't like... Oh, I didn't. He didn't get any strength. You're good. <laughs> good luck at work. Whoa! No! It's okay. He had a crappy level up. He deserved to die. He deserved it. You know what? If he was actually good, he would have dodged that attack. Idiot. Who needs him? We'll just train the axe bros to be bow, bow dudes. Who needs Walt? Who needs him? Oh no, anyway. <laughs> True. Oh no. Two HP? Baller. I'm out of here. this map so much. Does anyone unironically like this map? Um, you. No. Yeah, you. Come on. A door key? Life changed. Boars. Handle it. <laughs> Handle it. Actually, this guy probably has a sword, huh? Nope, we're good. The Rucker, like, even with me knowing about the ambush spawn and whatever, like, it doesn't bother me all that much. Like, that doesn't. But, like, just the map itself just feels really tedious and annoying. Oh yeah, with the the rain and stuff. That maybe maybe I have my feelings tied up with that because like that makes it even more tedious. The waterfall animation is new. Uh, I will look at it. I don't know though. No strength. Defense is cool though, I guess. Double? No, of course not. Iron blade, man. They really. 
They really kid out the enemies in this uh, this hack here. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe that, I don't know if that is vanilla. That looks that does look extra good. You're right. I don't know. It, it's probably vanilla, honestly. I doubt they would go that far. It's like make a new waterfall sprite. Oh, baby. Get him. We had to like game as Silver Boy weapon. Uh, ugh. Why is she already not getting like any experience? That's so annoying. Whoa, what's up with his hair? It's a weird color. I'm used to his hair being like super green. Oh, rapier is effective against this guy now. Sick. The one shot. Could I stab his horse or something? Fifty hour weeks are a ha oh fifty hour work week, dude. Good luck. As it should be. I always thought the rapier was effective against like cavalry and armor knights. Because like isn't the whole thing it's like it's a thrusting motion that's like better at getting between like chinks and armor. And like the nomads and stuff don't really have that armor, you know? So I don't know. I thought it always made sense that the rapier didn't work on them. But whatever. Alright, full send. Stun done carrying. I'm tired. Late stream. Gonna be short stream. the size of a water bottle <laughs> I actually did deliver for I was I was an Amazon delivery driver for a while and no they, they don't even supply you with a toilet bottle you have to supply yourself you have to bring that yourself to work How annoying is that Amazon package handlers working in cages for a while so they wouldn't just walk out um, I'm pretty sure that's just that's false <laughs> that's kind of funny though <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not the case I kind of want it to be though. I know I can ask Maggie Ma Maggie works at Amazon right now well actually today's her last day of work and then she's on maternity leave for the next six months or next uh, four months no, why'd you... No! Uh, drop the child. Don't rescue the child. Drop the child. Hands up. Leave the child alone. Form up. Surround them all. What's your favorite mega corporation? <laughs> what? <laughs> what kind of a question is that? Um, hey, what's your favorite mega corporation? Asking for a friend. Mine has. De oh no, boars! Mine is definitely. Nah, I, I was trying to think of a funny one, but I can't think of a funny one off the top of my head. 
Oh no, boars, no, no, oh no. It's almost like FED's trying to cause a game over so he can like reasonably turn the stream off. No. Cause he's tired. What do they do with Clarion? An energy ring? Why? Interesting. Uh, <laughs> All right, I, I'm I'm getting tired. I gotta be done, guys. Um, um, yeah. Look forward to the the hopefully coming soon super stream. Don't know how it's gonna go, but we're gonna give it a shot. It's gonna be interesting. Could be fun though. Um. Yeah, so look forward to that. Like the stream before you leave. Subscribe. Uh, become a member. That would be really cool. I'd really appreciate you guys becoming members of the channel. You get some nifty emotes that I will be updating. Um, like like this one. And I mean it. I love you guys. Here, have, 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 have some more FED love. FED love. Um, you guys are awesome. And I will, uh, I should be on tomorrow. I don't see why I won't be. So I should be on tomorrow. And if I'm not, sorry. At the very least, there'll be a video tomorrow or something. So anyways, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you next time.